What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Now I usually wouldn't open up one of these live stream highlights videos with an introduction like this, I just edit it in via text and post, but I wanted to let everyone know that I am hosting a tournament this Sunday for all of my Twitch subscribers. If you weren't aware, I go live every night at 5pm CST until... 7 p.m. CST or maybe 5.30 to 7.30. It's either one really, depending on my availability. But if you are subscribed to me and watch my streams, you'll know that I am hosting that tournament this Sunday. If you wanna join, just subscribe to me on Twitch and join the subscriber Discord that you'll be linked to once you are subscribed and link your Twitch account to your Discord. So I just wanna let you all know that before the video started. If you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content and answer my comment question of the day. What is the first team you'll be bringing to a tournament in Series 10? I'd like to know. Just give me a general idea of what the team is. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this video. Today, we're going to be using an Eternatus team. It is Power of Eternatus, Magnet, Regieleki, Focus Sash, Whimsicott, and Bubs. Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Choice ban Urshifu, which is hilarious in this format. I love it so much. It's like, hey, nice switching. <laughs> And then they're gone. Uh, and we have leftover Celesteel with Assault Vest Rillaboom, but... Weakness policy is no longer good because of Dynamax. That isn't necessarily true. It's no longer good on everything. It's still good on some things. I think weakness policy is still like a great item, but it's not spammable, which I think is exactly how it should have been from the beginning. And it was like that from the beginning, but... <laughs> Look where we are now. Uh, we ended up in a format where weakness policy was able to be put on literally everything in the game, and that's never fun. That's never a fun game to play. We're facing opposing Eternatus. I definitely like my Celesteela in this matchup. Looks like it's going to be really good, actually. But, I have to be careful for Fake Out on lead. I'm going to lead off like this. Celesteela in the back, and I think in the back... I think in the back Urshifu isn't looking, isn't looking too bad. Looking kind of sussy. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, dude, Gyroball. I when I was fighting you, I was literally just like Gyroball's about to do like so much damage to me. I have so much speed. Little Boomy Turnus, I'm fine with that. I'm very surprised Zarina's popping up on Showdown. Zarina's so so cool in this format. If you don't if you don't know who Hamster Mania VGC is, check out Hamster Mania VGC's YouTube channel. He made a video about Zarina in the format, and it was so good. It's just explaining like why Zarina's popping up, why it's such an important Pokemon, and why you should be using it. Now, obviously, I get outsped here, but I can just go into Celesteela, and I'm pretty much safe. Oh, it was Specs Eruption? I forgot it was Specs. There's the Fake Out. And the Sludge Bomb. Okay, so we know where their priorities are. We know where, we know where your priorities are. Uh, Sludge Bomb was actually kind of interesting because they didn't reveal their Dragon Offensive move if they have one, and they also did not reveal if they, let me let you see that thing, are Cosmic Power. I'm going to double out here. The Rillaboom switch. To thunderous. All right, cool. Here's something that I should have done, and maybe I can still save that. Can I still see? I cannot see the order in which. <laughs> I can't tell the order in which our um, our Pokemon uh, had our pressure show up because pressure is so important in this matchup, and I didn't pay attention because I'm stupid. Because I'm stupid. All right, check this out, check this out. Double back out. I'm living this Thunderbolt. I'm going to Leech Seed again. I should have paid attention. I forgot that that was a good tell as to who's faster. 
but I'm gonna assume you're faster. There's the eerie impulse, that's fine. I'm hoping to, and that pretty much confirms Prankster. Meteor Beam, who's it gonna be into? Probably Celesteela, not the end of the world though. Hey, I avoid it, awesome. That is pretty awesome. I gotta say. I gotta keep it real. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, check this out. Check this out. Boom. Bam. Or. Hmm. Bam. <laughs> That's, it's a questionable bam. <laughs> questionable bam. I'm also not PP maxed. My Eternus does not have infinite Draco Meteors. Bob! <laughs> And I'm immune to Prankster, so they can go ahead and, like, Thunder Wave me. I don't care. Bada bop boop! <laughs> you all know what the next move is. You already know what the next move is. You guys are probably thinking, Moxie's about to say pow. Yes, I am. <laughs> and it's an Eternatus pow, so you know it's the real thing. You know it's the real thing. What did they have in the back? They had their Rillaboom, which could switch into this. It's not very well. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. How? Got him. Got him. <laughs> Don't care. Give me the give me the annoying Pokemon. And that covers a possible Sash, which the Sash is likely on the Urshifu, but POW! <laughs> Awesome. And I still have the Tailwind. They can't be re-impulse me. I'm feeling good. There is a fly in my face. The fly just ruined it. Here's the Rillaboom. Now, obviously, Rillaboom's a little scary. Rillaboom is uh, a little scary. However, is it scarier than a Choice Banded Urshifu just chilling on the field? Chilling out, relaxing, and maxing. Arguably pretty cool. I'm gonna just wicked blow that Rillaboom. Rillaboom is a little sussy. Urshifu is gonna be a lot better when Restricteds are gone, because two of the best Restricteds in the game, being Xerneas and Zacian, check it really well. It's still great, right? But... It's, like, not as good as it would be if there were no Restricteds. They're going to fake out my Whimsicott. Which is now Eternatus, obviously. Oh, okay. Close combat? Surging Strikes. Uh, I should tank that, because Surging Strikes is always very <laughs> underwhelming. In terms of power, it's, like, a really underwhelming move. And I'm pretty sure their Eternatus can't beat me now that I have, um, now that, like, they've wasted the Power Herb. It becomes a lot easier for me. I'm going to Sludge Bomb. Eternatus might switch in, but I don't really care too much. I'm going to get in the Whimscat here. This Choice Banded Sucker Punch is going to be great versus Eternatus. I think Choice Band Urshifu is one of the greatest Pokemon for securing pins. Mainly because you're able to just sucker punch into something while also threatening to hit it with the Pokemon next to it. So it's like, hey, it's, it's, it's like a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Like, you can protect, but also if you do, you're going to take a pretty massive hit. Or you can attack, but if you do, you're taking a, a choice man sucker punch, I mean.
And now I can reset my Tailwind, which should be ending in a second here, if it didn't already end and I just wasn't paying attention. Nice, got that KO. Sash is great for Urshifu, but I specifically made mine Choice Band literally just because of how much speed control this team has at its disposal. Uh, who just followed? Phoenix, thank you so much for the follow. There's the Urshifu. It's about time we click Draco Meteor. It's about time we click this move. I have not clicked this move enough. But it's so good for the Eternatus Mirror. <laughs> You have flamethrower instead of dragon coverage? Oh, there was nothing to fear in the first place then. I'm big stupid. Well, good game, Mirvi. Draco Meteor. Just please don't forfeit. I want to click this move so bad. <laughs> I love Draco Meteor's animation so much and I never get to see it. Draco. Oh man. Moonblast. Plus one Z or plus one flamethrower to Okozation. Yeah. Uh I gave up I gave up my protect for flamethrower. Or for the dragon move. I could run protect, but the dragon move has been kind of useful. Basically, if you whiff your Meteor Beam versus Incineroar, it's like, okay, you might have missed the move that always KOs you, but now you're gonna have to take the move that might KO you. Like, Flamethrower is never KOing, Sludge Bomb is never KOing, Draco Meteor at plus one has a chance. It's it's pretty strong. Ah, the forfeit. That hurt. That hurt. But 9 hour 63 subscribing <laughs> subscribing with that Prime subscription brought me back to life. I Doesn't Meteor Beam increase your special attack for that turn only? No, it's permanent. It's until you switch out. Which is why it's very, very based. <laughs> okay, so... I see a rain offense team. Kyogre plus Kingdra. Uh, how am I feeling? How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Go Regieleki, Eternatus. Uh, Rillaboom in the back. And I think Celesteela isn't looking too bad in this game. I must say, Celesteela isn't looking too bad. But the Whimscott is also pretty good. The Whimsicott is also arguably pretty good here. Maybe I'll actually do this. Hmm. I'll do this. That's gonna be the team. Based on what? Based on my opinion. <laughs> Agri Tornadus, classic combo, a certified hood classic. Something to note about this particular certified hood classic is that my tailwind is faster. Based on you having no that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Anyways. Bye. I'll match your tailwind even though it doesn't matter too much. Zach, thank you so much for the follow. It feels weird playing in-game. What does Shiny Eternatus look like? I have never seen that model. I wish I had Taunt on this thing, but I couldn't really fit it. Are you going to get water spided, water spooted? I go for the Ice Beam. Now, what they unintentionally did there is let me know. Gonna say, let me know that they're Scarf. <laughs> I'm 
gonna say let me know that they're scarf, but uh yeah. Yeah. yeah that's not very not very good. Um can I do this? Can I can I thaw instantly? Can that be can that be what happens here? I mean I pretty much lose now. <laughs> I don't think there's much recovering unless I wake up this turn or thaw this turn. If I thaw this turn, there's a chance. Because Ice Beam is a roll to KO me. Nah, I just get o code. Alright. That's a loss. It was such a good lead, too. I'm upset. <laughs> that was such a good lead for me. Bro, I'm not clicking Flamethrower that turn. I'm rolling the dice. Alright, maybe we can somehow win this. Now, obviously, they're locked into Ice Beam. But, um, this might KO. I'm so upset my turn has got frozen turn one. <laughs> I was about to drop the fattest meteor beam. Bro, I'm not clicking the flamethrower that turn, no. That's a throw. He's gonna hit himself. No? Okay. Oh yeah, Flamethrower doesn't thaw. I always forget which moves thaw and which moves don't. I know Flare Blitz does and so does Overheat. But that's essentially a loss. There's just like no coming back from that. It's all good and I'll forfeit here. Yeah, that really sucked. Uh, that was pretty unlucky. Who's next on the queue? Next up is Oh, Bugs. yes, I remember why I moved my face scan to the right, because it blocks the first Pokemon in the team preview, which is a Tornadus. Uh, I mean, this is more or less the same. Tornogres pretty, you know, normal. Uh, let me see. The Whimsy Alecky turned us in the back, and I like Rillaboom. Rillaboom should be pretty useful in this matchup. Obviously, we have to be careful for the Zarina, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. The way I'm planning to stream five days a week from now on, from 5:30 to 7, maybe 5:30 to 7:30. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but planning on doing consistent streaming. We'll see how life treats me though when it comes to that. Can't always get what you want, you know. Where'd you like the Zarina? It's fine. So, what I can do here is I'm going to protect. I feel like they would triple axle Whimsicott. I'm going to Electro Web, and the next turn I can actually go ahead and just Tailwind Volt Switch. Because if they don't end up going for an Electro Web here, I'm actually in a good spot. I know that most Zarina are AV and carry triple axle to deal with. Um, this is like a coverage move. It's generally a good coverage move, especially with Lando being around, so I have to be cautious of that. There's the Volt Switch. I get an Electroid off, which is going to be nice. And even if they knock me out, it's not really the end of the world because I can just get an Eternatus. Oh, 
Cornetus the Wish Granter. Ooh. As we connect on the Tornadus, which is absolutely baller. Absolutely baller. Absolutely positively baller, in fact. And the Seed Bomb, the double up, that's fine. I can go ahead and go... I'm gonna go Rillaboom here. Obviously they could protect the Tornadus. Ah, no, Rillaboom's better in the end game. I'm gonna Tailwind up. Go for the Sludge Bomb. They may protect the Tornadus here. There's their Tailwind. Let's see how much it takes from this Axle. It shouldn't ever KO, but it is going to be pretty strong. Alright, that's within range of Moonblast next turn. No crits, please. Nice, just two hits. So I'm in a really good spot. Uh, that should be with the range of a Moonblast. I can actually Moonblast Tornadus to make it safer, because that always drops. I'll Sludge Bomb here. They have no switch into the Sludge Bomb. I'm not certain on Moonblast KOing Zarina, because I know it's pretty specially bulky and it might be a roll. Because... Wimscott has pretty abysmal special attack. But it should always KO Tornadus. Probably a Lecky. Yep. And there's the Sludge Bomb. Yo, wow, that takes it. Sash. Ooh, we get the poison. That's that's pretty lucky. Uh, in the end, I might have been able to position myself well enough to deal with the Zarina, because my next priority would have been Zarina, because I'm Rillaboom just auto wins. But that does matter. I will I will say that it does matter because there is always an out if you have a way to play out of it. But I think regardless, I would have been able to prioritize Zarina and then just win. GG, bubs. Sorry about the poison. You ever figure out what started your apartment fire? It was apparently a custodian being stupid. It was a stupid custodian. Obviously, we target down Zarina here. I'm just going to double the Zarina because it doesn't matter. Uh, but the custodian, so I never heard like the full story, but supposedly the custodian was like in the crawl space of one of the apartments messing with something and it was either a cigarette that started the fire or like faulty wiring. One or the other, I'm not sure. And it's not Sash Kyogre, so it might be Mystic Water. Or it's not Scarf Kyogre, because it would have outsped, so it might be Mystic Water or something. It'd be funny if I got frozen again. Like, it wouldn't matter, but it'd still be funny. Just like, hey, you remember this? Bubs, please let me click Draco Meteor. <laughs> please, please, let me click Draco Meteor. It's all I want in this world. I just want to click Draco Meteor, please. I have not been able to click Draco Meteor this whole stream. Okay. <laughs> We're not getting to click Draco Meteor today. Alright, good game. Good game. Team preview. And, ooh, I have not seen Volcarona plus Kyogre yet, but I like it. And I also like the, I like the, um, Salamence on the other side of the field. That's cool. That is cool. Can this fly go away? It's been bothering me this whole stream. It's, a, it's more like a gnat. It's a tiny fly. Um... All right, let's do this. Uh, in the back, Celesteela looks iffy. It looks iffy, to be honest. Usually it's not bad in this matchup, and so is Rillaboom. Uh, let's actually do this. 
Do that. After the stream, you're gonna watch your Ho of it. Ooh, Salamence. Yeah, Salamence is cool. Salamence is really cool. Holy crap, what was your name before? There's, there's Serena Whimsicott, which I actually really love this lead. This lead's pretty awesome for me. This lead is pretty awesome for me. And there is a speed tie going on here, but it's not a terrible speed tie. This isn't like a, a make or break speed tie, if that makes sense. Neo Doombot? Ah, yes, I remember. Are you going to get triple axled? Watch them not be AV. No, it's definitely AV. And we get the poison. This poison looks been pretty awesome. As they U-turn. So no triple axle. Uh, interestingly enough, that's actually pretty baller. It is. It's really baller. That's really baller. Here's a Salamence. Um, I outspeed you. <laughs> we get to click it. I just—it just dawned on me. We get to click the move. We get to click the move. I don't care what you switch in. I'm clicking. Mm, maybe I do care a little bit. Maybe, maybe I won't click the move just yet. Maybe, maybe I'll let it live just one more turn. But you're not taking this. You're not taking. There's the okay. Never mind. This has become a big issue, and that is a really cool move. <laughs> That is a really cool move. Please live, Eternatus. I believe in you. I believe in you, Eternatus. Please live. Okay, actually, that's fine. Even if we lose Eternatus. Even if we lose Eternatus, that isn't the end of the world. That is a really cool move to run. And that's Life Orb. Okay. So, here's my man Reggie Alecki. Here's my man Reggie Alecki. Reginald Alecki in in the in the cut. Reginald Alecki is in the cut. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, we're gonna do this. You're not staying in. You're not staying in. They did stay in, but I still had speed. Because I have Tailwind up. And I got rid of that, which is nice. Wow, okay. Time to start clicking Electroweb and such. So I got to reset my speed stat, and I can lock myself into Wicked Blow now. Obviously, number one on our priorities is this guy. His arena. It lowers both opponents' speed by two stages. It's like String Shot. Is that within Thunderbolt range? Might be. I mean, I'm Magnet Regieleki. You have to think maybe I can take this. But I can do that, right? No, I always Wicked Blow the Salamence and hope. I'm going to Electroweb. No, oh, Thunderbolt. Why not? Doesn't make a difference in the end. I can't sucker punch as much as I want to. Please KO. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, your base 100 speed. I forgot, because I'm stupid. Because I'm stupid. Please tell me you targeted the Reggie Lucky, because then there's still, there's still a chance. Okay, no, I lost. That's really cool tech, though. Oh, wait, there's a chance. Uh, there's no chance, no. <laughs> no! Actually, there is. They have to miss. Oh, it's Volcarona. Didn't even bring the Kyogre. I was playing as though there was a Kyogre. I got Nanade on. I got Nanade. All right, please miss and please let me be faster somehow. It was at minus one, so. Uh, I definitely should have Thunderbolted the the Salamence, but I forgot that it... I, I don't know why I always think Salamence is 90 base speed, but I forgot. Good game. That was that was really cool tech, to be honest. I'm not even mad I lost. Before I log off of the stream, after this match, remind me to do that. And, ooh. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, I'm going to lead off Rillaboom here, because faking out that thing is so important. We're going to go Rillaboom Aleki. Eternatus, and I think my last mod. It can be Whimsicott. Whimsicott's actually really nice here. Gotcha, Diego. <laughs> You're running Specs, Kyogre. Yeah, that makes sense why you didn't bring it then. Dude, I would have had that Draco if it weren't for Cotton Spore. It's a cool move, right? You just don't see it too often. So I was definitely like, oh, this is the safest Draco of my life. Or Meteor Beam, I guess is what I clicked. Because it would have KO'd. But yeah, that was cool tech. Okay, let's do this. Confluent Kyogre, that's exactly what I want to see. That is exactly what I want to see in this matchup. Now the question is, are you running Quick Guard? Because if you are, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's not good. I can't exactly scout for it, though. So we're just going to do this. The question is if they're running Quick Guard or not. Because if they're running Quick Guard, this lead has just been invalidated. I'm going to have to throw it away and get a new one. <laughs> they withdraw the Talon Flame. That's fine by me. Probably going to protect the Kyogre, if anything. It's way too threatened by what's in the field. Unless it's Scarf, in which case they're just going to go ahead and annihilate whatever I have on the field at that point. Okay. That tells me it's probably Scarf. Let's switch out of there. Doesn't look like AV. Actually, it might be. Who knows? Who's to say? <laughs> Again, the Eternatus here. And this seems like a prime opportunity to drop a Meteor Beam on this Incineroar. We know how devastating that can be. Uh, and also, U-turn on this Eleki. Hey, Bronzy, thank you so much for the donation. $15, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Streaming's kind of how I've been making my money since I moved down here. So that is that is a big deal to me. I'm going to wood hammer. I'm not going to U-turn out of there. What am I? I'm a loser? Go big or go home. We're getting rid of the Selecki or whatever comes in. Who's it going to be? That's fine. Electroweb, give me this. I demand the Selecki. In my collection. I kind of hope it's Sash, because then it's in range of... Um, no, it's not Sash. I was going to say, if it's Sash, it's in range of my Meteor... Not Meteor Beam. Grassy Glide. That's what I meant to say. I don't know why I can't speak, man. Spiel to the moon. 
I appreciate you, Bronzy. Thanks so much for the, for the donation there. And I know you're here for the Minecraft content, so I will... No, maybe Minecraft Monday. <laughs> maybe I'll do Minecraft streams even more. Because you guys seem to enjoy that, even though I suck at Minecraft. Now, what I can do here is get in the Whimsicott. Actually, no, I don't get a Whimsicott. I U-turn out. In case it's Sash Town Flame, I need that. And I'm going to Meteor Beam this Incineroar. You just like all my content? Hey, thank you. Dual Wing Beat. I get the Avoid, but I think I would have lived that anyways. I'm surprised they didn't Tailwind. I definitely would have lived that, mainly just because this Rillaboom's really bulky and Talon Flame's attack stat's pretty poo poo. Goodbye, Incineroar. Goodbye. I thought they'd Tailwind there. Try to go for, like, Kyogre stuff. Alright. Uh, now I get in my own Whimsicott because I can match their Tailwind. And I finally, finally get to click Draco Meteor. It's been so long. <coughs> also, they just lost their priority on Dual Wing Beat, which is nice. Tailwind up. Talonflame, be gone. I have to land this Draco Meteor or I'm going to quit streaming. <laughs> the move. I finally... You know you know that scene in Spongebob where they're selling chocolate and he goes, ha, Finally! That's me right now. I really just want to click this move. There we go. We finally got it. And it's not living it. Please don't live it somehow. Please don't be a cursed Talonflame. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good game, Diego. There's the Ice Beam. It's going to do like 40%? No, that is Specs. That is the most Specs Kyogre I've seen in my life. Anyways, let's do it again. <laughs> let's do it again. I want to click the move again. You've got you cut protect from Kyogre? Ah. Oh, I guess maybe it isn't Specs. Maybe it's like. Just really, really specially offensive with like a modest nature. Goodbye. Okay, it's gonna live it, but still, goodbye. <laughs> Eternatus still got to do the funny move. Okay, we get to do the funny move a third time. I'm just gonna keep clicking it till it stops being funny. It might have stopped being funny like 10 games ago, but whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Minus six. It's specs, just timid. Ah, makes sense. Big tears. Funny move. Goodbye. A third time. There we go. Kyogre is gone. And yes, we're going to end off the stream with that team review. Alright. Good game. Good game. Go ahead and do that team review real quick.